Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying some Feastables. These are, these in particular are Mr. Beast cookies. There's the chocolate chip cookies. And I have candy bars. This one is the original chocolate, the uh, milk chocolate, uh, quinoa crunch chocolate, and almond chocolate. Uh, these were all bought at Walmart. The candy bars were $2.48 each. The cookies were $4.48 each. Now, they do have another candy bar that we were not able to get, but it's just like salted it's chocolate. salted chocolate or something. Yeah, like so it's not, not even salted caramel, it's just salted chocolate. So not a big deal. Um, I also, we bought these, um, they were in the candy aisle on the shelf. Mm -hmm. So. No display. They were not on any special display, no. But what's funny is, so we found these in a larger Walmart in the candy aisle on the shelf. We, I knew these cookies were around. I knew they were. And looked for them. Looked and looked and looked and looked. Like Kevin said, never saw a display of any of this. So we're, we're in our smaller Walmart, leaving, going down the aisle, and at the end of the seasonal aisle, is where they put all the stuff on clearance. Like miscellaneous stuff they're trying Literally to get rid of. Literally random crap they're trying to get rid of from like Easter. You know, <laughs> these old jelly beans are sitting there for a quarter that they, please take me. So anyway, they had two boxes of these candy bars sitting there, but they were mini. They were mini bars. Yeah, so like they were like half the size of these and skinnier. And so they had those, they had two flavors and this bag, this one bag sitting there at the end. And I'm like, where did these come from in the store? And we looked, we never did see them. We walk all over the store. We walk, every time we go in that place, we walk up and down every single aisle almost, every single time. I never saw where these were supposed to be. I never saw where they had those little bitty candy bars. I don't know where they came from. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they got them in and immediately put them on this clearance place. And where were the other cookies though? What happened to them? We don't know. It's a mystery. Here we are. <laughs> That's the story. Here's that, the that, that, now here's the review. Sorry. I guess I could have saved that for the end so that people didn't have to listen to all that. But uh, these are plant-based, gluten-free. It's a six ounce uh, package. Um, more mo more noms, more noms, more prizes, more beast. I don't know what that means. Uh, no GMO ingredients, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial flavorings, no hydrogenated oils. Um, six servings in the container, two cookies. So there are 12 cookies in this package are 140 calories. Noms are like, nom, nom, nom. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Distributed by Feastables in Chicago, Illinois. Resillable. Okay. Here we go. That's bigger than I thought they would be. So, $4.48 for 12. You want a half it or you want... Okay. Mm, that's good enough. Mm, it's just like there's alcohol in that Mm-hmm. I don't know if they heard you. Sorry. That almost tastes like there's alcohol in there. Like a, it's almost like a whiskey flavor. I agree. It is the darndest thing. And they're very gritty. Um, they are gritty. <laughs> they, they're, they are a gritty texture. They're... <laughs> a mouthful of sand. I mean, literally. Bleh. Um, very they're sensitive. soft. They're soft. Yeah, they're like a soft bake. Yeah, they're a soft bake cookie, but... Well, they're a somewhat soft bake cookie. They're firmer than a soft, truly soft bake. Yes, but Kevin is, is sensitive to that grittiness, but oh, guess what? Get it too. I'm getting it too. Oh, it's bad. It is, it's a very, very gritty cookie. I don't mind whatever's coming through is an alcohol flavor. It tastes like whiskey. Like, I, I, I like that. I don't I, mind. Yeah, I don't yeah, mind that. The flavor's actually a good flavor yeah. if you can get over the texture. Yeah. If you I don't do like, not like that But texture. if you don't like alcohol-based like foods, then you I think you might not like that. I don't think you, you will like them. If you ate something that, that had whiskey in it and you're like, ooh, I don't like that flavor, I don't, I don't think you'd like that. It's very peculiar because it truly, they could have called them bourbon chocolate chip cookies. Uh, that, that's just the way it tastes. 
Um, but I do not like the texture of it, and right. I have it like. Oh, the little pieces of sand are coming from my teeth. It's just. I, it's just oh. I feel the same way. So <laughs> would I buy those again? No, because those are uh, th those are almost like you would like. We've tried keto items. Those are like the texture almost of the of keto mm -hmm. items. Yeah, They're just sandy. It's green, not right? a good texture. We've had protein bars that have the same thing. Okay. I wonder if it's from the plant-based, whatever plant-based ingredients they're using. I don't know, because there's some really uh, Oreo, good. We've Oreos, some really good plant -based, plant -based, plant based vegan cookie, and Oreo's good. Yeah. That It's just not a good texture. No. Okay. Mr. Beast can keep those. Okay. Um, I wonder if he's a gamer, because it looks, I don't it know. It seems like, I mean, I've heard his name for years, but I've never actually watched I, it. I just don't know. Okay, these are original chocolate. It says only four ingredients. <laughs> Oh, so let's see what the four ingredients are. Uh, cane sugar, organic chocolate liqueur, organic cocoa butter, and sunflower lichen or whatever that lichen. word is. Uh, half a bar is 170 calories, just the original. So I guess that's the thing is they only have a minimum amount of ingredients. I didn't know that when I bought them. I didn't know. I just... Oh, it says share and devour. The so share part's really the share part, <laughs> Yeah, the share part of the bar is really small, and then devour the rest of it. That's cute. That's snappy like a dark chocolate. It's very snappy. That one's bad. Grass fed no. milk. Okay. That is crumbly and snappy like a dark chocolate. Mm hmm. It's not a bad flavor. The texture is that kind of waxy chocolate texture. Mm -hmm. I don't mind the texture. It mm -hmm. does. Yeah. It does seem. Uh, it's a dark chocolate. Yeah, it's a darker chocolate. It's a darker chocolate. I do like the snap of it. It doesn't have a bad flavor. Mm -hmm. Does it taste creamy no. and rich and luxurious? No, it does no, not. No, but it tastes more like um, a dark chocolate, which wouldn't like be chocolate. creamy or anything. So exactly, anyway. it wouldn't be that anyway. So maybe we'll get that in the milk chocolate bar. Yeah. That one's okay. If you like dark yeah, chocolate... not bad at all. If you like dark chocolate, it's good. Yeah, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This is five ingredients, once again. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur, organic milk, and organic vanilla powder. Hmm. 170 calories for half the bar. I'm assuming this can be something. Probably. Yep. yep. Share and devour. One of these I'll make sure I keep the share part on top so you all can see it. Much softer. These remind me of... Um, <clears throat> And just the packaging and stuff remind me of something that you would see at like um is it called hot topic not hot topic um fye oh yeah because um fye fye actually sells a lot of aster brand chocolate it's aster chocolate and they put different labels on it and stuff but this just reminds me of that kind of like packaging. Um, gimmicky packaging um Milk chocolate's okay. It's not like the best thing ever, but it's it's fine. It's I mean, okay. There, yeah. It's not bad. There's nothing uh, exciting or spectacular about it. It 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 it's not rich or creamy, but I still got that waxy kind of. Yeah, texture. it's not one that I would want to buy again. Mm -hmm. Put it that way. Mm -hmm. um, it's not one that I'm like, oh, that's my new favorite candy bar. No. I have to have. It that. is better than a Hershey's bar. Um, yeah, I pro I'd still, yeah, I do. It's, it tastes a little better quality than a Hershey bar. But I'm not buying Hershey's either. Right. I'm, if I'm buying Hershey's, it's going to be like... For a recipe. The, <laughs> the, it's going to be like the cookies and creams, very specific right. Hershey bar. Or, uh, let's complain, they got rid of our favorite Hershey's gold. Um, so, you know, I just don't buy Hershey bars at all. Uh, this is the Quinoa Crunch Chocolate, and it has five ingredients. 170 calories. I'm just going to dig right into this. This has a lot going on on the back. The quinoa. 
You can break it. And the, it still says the same? Break the devour part off. Of break it. the devour. Okay. There we go. Give you the big one. Because I know you like quinoa. It reminds me a lot of the texture of the dark chocolate one. They thought they've added these little hard crunchy bits in there. The quinoa. I like the flavor of it though. Do you? It's okay. Yes. I, I like the flavor. I like the crunchy bits. I like the quinoa. Hmm. Um, it, it's a little dark for me. Yeah, I really like I like it better than the milk chocolate thing. I, like I would rather have I would rather have this one and the first one even over the milk chocolate. Because I, I just the milk chocolate was just kind of uh, for me. It's just um, um, didn't have a lot. It, I want a creamy, rich experience. Something that I can lay on my tongue that'll melt nicely, like yeah, a, like a Dove chocolate. No, none of these have done that. Yeah. But I, I see. Do I like, like the milk chocolate better because it wasn't bitter. The first, this one, the first one and this one are kind of bitter. So the quinoa is is kind of <clears> like <throat> having a like a crunch bar or something like that. You've got the texture, the little crunchy texture in there is what it's like. Yeah. Um, it's not as crunchy as like the cereal pieces though. No, no. Okay, so now this one is the almond chocolate with almond chunks. Five ingredients, 170 calories. It does have almond chunks. That looks dark. Again. Yeah, I, I wonder if it's cheaper to use that than the milk. I don't know. Okay. I, I've, I've, Definitely don't need <laughs> I know, I know. Yeah, it's got that same crumbly kind of dark chocolate texture. I get the chunks of almond. Mm, I got a little bit of the flavor too. It's very light though. Mm -hmm. You it's do there. get the almond flavor. But that darker chocolate flavor kind of covers up all the almond flavor. No, I'm saying I do get almond flavor. I do, but it's not as strong as it could be if it was in milk chocolate. I, I agree. It is that three of the four of these are... Uh, that's very snappy chocolate, darker chocolate. Um, mm. None of these are, are what I would say would take the place of like my new favorite candy bar. Uh, I would not. I wouldn't buy them again. No, I wouldn't either. Um, yeah. I do not see them being around long. No, I, I mean because I understand that he has a fan base, so I think his fan base is of course going to be buying them and trying them one time. But why in the world would you go for this again and again when there are so many other better ones out there? Mm -hmm. You know, why, why would you choose this? There's no reason to choose this when there are so many better candy bars out there. Yeah, I can't imagine it's been a long, a long time either. No, I think this that's probably why they were in the clearance out at Walmart. But now, how in the world we missed them being out, I don't know, because I swear we're in there every day. No, we, they, <laughs> just, they just, for some reason, were stuck. And the cookies, you do a search on their website, and you can't, they don't even show up on their website. No, Kevin was like, I don't even see cookies, because I'm no. like, they make cookies too. It was a third party selling them on the Walmart website for like $25. Yeah, which is absolutely yeah, crazy. Do not if ever, you don't, do not pay that much money. No, for these if you don't get these, unless you're collecting the bag, <laughs> that's yeah. the only reason to buy them. Um, I don't know why you'd want to collect that. That's, if you're a big fan um, of his, then yeah. Know. See, I just don't know anything about him, so to me, it's like I just don't. Yeah, we're trying it. Yeah, food. we're trying it as food, <laughs> and for me, as as food, it it just it's just very. It's like. Um, I've had better candy bars from Dollar Tree, put it that way, mm. uh, for a dollar. So there you go. Uh, so I will have a picture for you at the end. If you've tried any of them, please put your comments below. And thanks for watching.